Even though Screencastify saves their files sometimes as WebM files, it is not letting us upload these to our screen editor. For some reason, it starts to process it and it just peters out. So there is a workaround. It's very quick and easy. If you go to 123 apps, and if you just type 123 apps, you're going to get here, 123apps.com. And this has some really cool apps that everyone should, there's a voice recorder here, there's PDF tools. So there's all sorts of really cool things. And what we're going to do is go to the video converter. So we want to convert it from one file to another. And there's literally three steps. They number you right through it. It's really easy. So first, we're going to open our file. And we can go right into Dropbox or to Google Drive if we want, but mine are on my computer, on my Hovercam folder. So I'm going to pick the first one that I want to convert, and I'm going to click the Open button. And it's just going to upload that file. And then you can see it progressing across. So the larger the file, the longer it takes. And then for number two, I just decide you know, which type of file I want to convert it to. So I definitely want it to be to an MP4 file. It's going to really like that in Screencastify Edit. And then the resolution, I just keep it the same as the source file is what I do. And then the last step, once it finishes uploading, is we click Convert. So really the only thing you have to do is pick the file and then download the file. So those are the steps. I'm going to pause the video while it finishes. So now it is completed. So you can tell that it's completed because it says Open File. And it only took a minute to do so. Again, I keep this same resolution as my source, and then I'm going to click the Convert button. So it's going to convert it, tells me what it's converting it to, and again, you can just imagine that we're going to see that bar start to go across just like we saw before. And then I would just kind of do something else in the background while it's waiting. Oh, look how fast that was. I didn't even need to wait. It was speedy, speedy, speedy quick. I click the Download button. I'm going to stick it in the same folder as the Hovercam. I just think that it's easier. And instead of having that, you know, converted online in there, I'm just going to, because it's an MP4 file, it's a different file type, so I can just put it in the exact same file. Or the same folder. Okay, here we go. So it's going to go in the same folder. I'm going to click Save. And so now when I go to my Screencastify Edit, if I went to the bottom, and don't worry, I'm going to edit this video. It's way too long. Um, so I'm definitely going to chop it down, but let me see. I'm just going to make it a little smaller here so you can see what I'm doing. So I make sure my cursor's at the end. I'm going to click on that plus to add. I'm going to upload it from my computer. I'm going to find, instead of the WebM, I'm going to make sure that I find the MP4. Here it is. Download one, upload one MP4. That's the one I want. I click on it. I click open. It's going to process it, and the processing is very similar to the other software, the online software, is that we're going to watch this go across, and when it gets to the end, then that video is going to be added in. And again, the size of the file does make a difference. The bigger the file, the longer it's going to take to process. The shorter and smaller the file, the quicker it is to process. So again, you can do something else while you wait. So as soon as the processing stops, then you can see it was added. So my original time was 19 minutes, and now it's 22 minutes long. Again, way too long, so I will edit. But my, this is what I took. This is the video that I took using the hover cam, and it went through without a glitch. And you can see the color is nice and clear, and it's just going to be, it's going to be added right to my original video. If you have any questions, definitely let me know.